In this problem, we're asked to solve the equation x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. Well, what type of equation is it? As you notice, the highest power on any of the x's is a 2. It's a degree 2 equation or a quadratic equation. How do we solve quadratic equations? We're either going to factor it or use the quadratic formula. But to use either of those methods, our problem has to be written in standard form. I need 0 on one side. Do I have 0 on one side? Yes. Then these terms on the other side have to be written in descending order. Are these written in descending order? Yes, so I'm ready to go. So let's figure out what a is. a is the coefficient of the x squared, which is a 1. b is the coefficient of the x, so it's negative 6. And c is the constant term, so it is 4. If we were going to factor it, you figure out what a times c is, which is 1 times 4, which is 4. And then we'd look for two numbers that multiply to my AC, multiply to 4, and add to B, which is negative 6. Since it multiplies to a positive, the signs are the same, and they have to add to a negative, that means both of the signs have to be negative. Well, I don't have too many choices, I'm just going to put it on pause for a minute. So here are my only choices, negative 1 and negative 4, and that adds up to negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, but that adds up to negative 4. Therefore, this one's not going to factor, so I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula. So you must know the quadratic formula, and that says x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So x equals, now remember, b was negative 6, so it's the opposite of negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b is negative 6, so it's negative 6 squared, minus 4 times what was a, 1, and c is 4. That is all underneath the square root, all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So now all we have to do is simplify this. The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6, plus or minus the square root of negative 6, all squared is negative 6 times negative 6, so it's positive 36, minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 4 is 16 all divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So this is going to give me 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 16 is 20, all divided by 2. Let's factor 20. Um, let's see, 2 times 10. And 10 is 2 times 5. So I have a pair here, and then I have a 5 left over. So this is 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 5. Remember that pair of 2 times 2 here becomes the 4, all divided by 2. So I get 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, all divided by 2 which is 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 5, all divided by 2. So we're nearly done, but notice this term, this term, and this term are all divisible by 2. So the simplest way to um, reduce the answer is to divide it into two terms. So we're going to say it's 6 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 the square root of 5 divided by 2, because notice this 2 here has to divide into both terms in the numerator. And now reduce, 2 goes into here once, 2 goes into here 3 times, so I have 3 plus or minus this 2 reduces with this 2, and I get the square root of 5. So my answer is 3 plus or minus the square root of 5.
Don't forget if you're asked to write it as two solutions, the first one would be 3 plus the square root of 5, and the second solution would be 3 minus the square root of 5.